exploration and find it doesn't work once you get there. Better here than on Mars. This suit will have to be perfect because Mars has another nasty surprise in store. Dust cyclones up to five times larger than a full-blown tornado on Earth. And it's not the size that makes them dangerous. It's what you can't see that really does the damage. On a windswept field in Arizona, a team of researchers gets set to go hunting dust devils. We're trying to get a full picture of what these dust devils are and what they're made out of. The idea is to study the devils we know to be ready for the big ones on Mars. The reason what we're doing here is important to the future of manned Mars exploration is, uh, you know, dust and dust devils could be a hazard. This could be highly charged, could be dangerous to electrical equipment, could be a death knell. For a man crew, certainly if they're kind of aware of it, that could be a problem. Stephen Metzger lives to chase dust devils. His ride is part pursuit vehicle, part mobile lab, with three complete weather stations. My dust devil chase truck, Dasher, is all about getting out into a dust devil, because they don't come to us, and from the ground on up, right close to the ground, figure out wind speed and direction, humidity, temperature, pressure. Another team joins the hunt to study the same dust devil from a different angle. They're using a powerful LIDAR system that fires an astonishing 20 million flashes of laser light per second. It can detect the position and speed of dust devils up to seven kilometers away. The two teams try to zero in on the same dust devil, but nobody knows where the next big one will appear. Steve, do you see the big red bar to the left? Well, that definitely classifies as a major dust devil. That's the monster that I wanted to catch you. Is the laser on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Data pours in and the results are startling. Wind speeds inside the dust devil are comparable to a Force One hurricane. And the column of dust it's carrying weighs as much as a mid-sized car. One of those giant dust devils on Mars could whip up a mass of five tons of dust as fine as baking powder. You could have a lot of mechanical wear where the dust gets into gears and the spacesuit breaks down. You're not going to be able to go out and explore, which is the main reason you want to go there in the first place. But the most disturbing find is the electrical activity. It's a thousand times greater inside the dust devil than in the surrounding air. Swirling dust particles rub against each other, turning the dust devil into a generator, producing enough static electricity to destroy most integrated circuits ten times over. So, the much bigger dust devils on Mars could pack a lethal punch, shorting spacesuit electronics. pick up thousands of volts of static energy waiting to discharge violently at the slightest touch. For a spacesuit life support system, that could be devastating. By detecting the wind patterns that trigger dust devils, the LiDAR technology being tested here could be an early warning system for astronauts. I believe that the type of instruments we've been testing here are actually going to be on either Mars orbiters or Mars landers so that uh, we can prepare for, for that eventual uh, first human mission to Mars. Since their terrifying landing, the crew has had to confront a hostile planet, pushing their life support systems to the limit. Now, they must embark on the ultimate mission. A search for life on Mars. It's almost unthinkable uh, to uh, imagine anything like uh, life as we now know it to uh, have developed or to exist. 